Hey, what's going on everyone? I just wanted to make a quick video explaining how you can make beats uh, directly on your computer without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars getting expensive bulky equipment. Um, so yeah, making beats from your computer. Step one is you need to get a piece of beat making software. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there. Uh, there's free ones, paid ones. Um, if you are serious about making beats, you're going to want to get a paid one. Uh, they're all like under a hundred bucks, so they're super cheap, and they have ridiculous amounts of features um, and flexibility. Uh, I went with Dub Turbo. It's probably the most popular one out there. Um, I think it's great because it is extremely flexible, but it's also really easy to use and has a relatively small learning curve. I've only been using it for a couple months, and it's my first time ever doing something like this, and I'm getting a pretty good hang of it. Um, so yeah, it's flexible, easy to use, got a ridiculous amount of features. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example of what it can do and then I am also going to show you guys a tutorial video on how to use it so you can kind of see for yourself how easy it is to make sick beats. Um, yeah, if you want to check them out, click the link in the description and you can start making your own beats. Like it, 
punches. There's also kids here that aren't just drums, but also fills, effects, like this one here punches. Okay, so a bunch of wicked samples that have all been customized just for Doug Turbo. Nothing here has been scooped or taken from Google or anything. We made all these in-house, altered them, fact, the stereo image them, so all the drums are wicked. It'll, it'll be easy for you guys to build the beats and make them sound really professional right from the start because you're working with wicked samples. So here, what we'll do is the same thing. These three buttons or uh, tools are the most important of this screen. You can change your tempo here too. You can turn your metronome on or off. It's universal, so if you do click it on here, or if you change the tempo here, let's see if we go down here. What you heard there was me pressing the keyboard and it triggered our sound. So and I'll point that out right now. One through 10 on your keyboard that you type on, okay, is So before you even lay anything down, you can kind of even turn your metronome on, let that play. One, two, three, four, just start. Once you figure out what you kind of want your beat to sound like, you can draw them in, or you can press record, play, and then record them with the keys on your keyboard. Um, just loop it once, let it go through once. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and here we go. Stop it. If you notice anything's out of place, simply grab the arrow tool, move it over. If you don't like where something sits, it's easy to move. And if you want to erase anything, simply grab your eraser, erase. Pencil tool, draw back in. Okay, down here, say we want the hi hats, right there's the label. Add a hi hat if you want. Very simple. Turn the metronome back off and. Okay, now what we'll do is change up this drum kit live. Say we want to see how this pattern sounds just with a different kit. Kind of sounds weird. Change that again. Sick, nice and deep and dirty. Drum and bass. Go back to Dirty South. This will sound nice. We'll close this up. We'll do the same thing on layer two. Okay? Drag your pen draw your pencil. Draw in two bars by clicking, holding and dragging. Let go. Click back on your arrow tool. Click on the bars. Click edit. One thing I haven't shown you yet is this P. Before you even click edit, you can click P and it'll pull up this same kit. Source from here, here in a separate panel. So let's close that and this is what you'll get. So you can draw in your bars, click on it, then click P. Click whatever you want in advance and you already have your kit here. You can also change kits here. Okay, let's try it with this one. So again, we'll do this on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Now we can click on the bars, click edit, and see what we just laid. There's what we just laid live using the keyboard we used. If anything's out of whack, Again, simply just snap them into place if you know they're off. And now we have two layers of drums going over each other, which is really nice in Dub Turbo. You can change the volume of each here. So these 16 layers are all these 16 layers. Important to understand. Okay, so there's a quick two bar count. Lastly, I'm just going to quickly show you this. Change here by holding, selecting, say we put this to four, actually, let's make it eight. Right now we have two bars, right? So these are two bars. We can simply holding down the shift on your keyboard that you type on, hold down shift, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and drag. So if something isn't looping for you properly, right off the hop on those first two bars, or first one bar even, simply extend it. Other ways that you can get it to loop properly if there's a little bit of a gap is change just by one tempo piece. And that seems to sometimes make the, the loop snap into place properly. So here we have that same beat altered and 